Hello everybody and welcome back to TipTut. Today I've just got a really quick tip for you. Um, there is a function within uh, After Effects that allows you to infinitely scale your vectors without them blurring. Now that sounds stupid and contradictory because vectors should be able to scale without blurring. However, as everyone knows that if you do scale up a uh, Illustrator file, which is just this Illustrator file that I have here, within After Effects you get this blur. It doesn't make sense, but it treats it like a raster image, um, which is infuriating. But there is a way, very simply, to just make sure that that doesn't happen. Um, you can see here that I've got my first file. It's very blurry. Um, if I duplicate that, and I'll just quickly swap out the mask for it so we can see the um, other side. You can see that even though I've got two layers, they're both uh, blurry and they've been scaled up. If you go to the top one, and down here there's this teeny tiny button, called uh, Collapse Transformations or Continuously Rasterize uh, if it's a vector layer, which it is. What that does when you select it is it continuously rasterizes. <laughs> it sounds silly, but um, it basically means it treats this like a vector object rather than uh, a blurred one. And this works just the same if it's a pre-comp. So if I pre-compose this, um, which I've lost, convert to layered comp, there we go. So that retains the layers inside, so you can animate these all separately. Um, you can see that it's blurry, and if you click this um, button in here, it still remains blurry. What you got to do is just do all those on the inside. And then, voila. And now you can scale this even further, and it will still be clean. There'll be nothing wrong with it, which is great. So that's it. Just a really, really quick tip for you this week, uh, just because I found it out the other day, and I wanted to share it. So thanks very much for watching, everybody. I hope you found it useful, and I'll see you all next time. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.